But this is, well, for you the first look at this big tree, 1.4 SKR and TFT 3.5, a few gooey finger marks on here already. Let's turn it on. And one thing that shocked me was how fast it boots up. Turn it on there. And so on. See, see there's no printer detected at first, no printer de attached. But after a second or two that goes out. And you've got the display which is very responsive. Go to menu. Heat. And we'll ask for, we're going in 5 degrees here. Let's see what option show. We've got 10 degrees. So let's add to that. That's T or that's the extruder. First extruder. Still 110, that's enough. Heat, click on here. Oh, that's nozzle bed. It's still 45. I can't do 45 because I've got the knees. Let's go back to 5 on there. Oops, 45. Okay, so now it's showing the temperatures up here. So the suggestion is, or the nozzle is at 106 already, 110 already, and the heat bed is warming up to 45. Let's watch out a few minutes. Now I've done a test on this already, to be honest with you. The control knob doesn't do anything, except if you press it, it does go to the bit, uh, LCD 128 now that isn't set up, right? you have to set that up in Marlin, I believe, I haven't set that up, I haven't flashed this, this is just default, in a way. So I presume it isn't set up in Marlin, you have to actually tell it that you want the big discount thingy my jig. So then we've got that, got preheat, let's have a look at preheat, so we can preheat to some temperatures which are set up presumably in Marlin when you flush them. Both, I don't know what both does. Very responsive to touch screen. One thing I found, if you touch the screen for three seconds, even if you're on one of the things, let's touch the fan. So you go, it goes to a choice whether you want the touch screen or the Marlin mode. Mal mode isn't working at the moment because as I say that needs setting up and you can press the something coming on there actually like a small signal coming on there and you can press the button for about three seconds. Let's have a look at some of the movements. Oh let's put the fan on. So we got pulse width modulation on the fan and we can decrease, we can say full. And that's the part fan there that's come on full. Let me decrease it. You can't see this, but it's on 80. And it's going down. So you have to keep jabbing at the screen. This is one of the disappointments with it. Because I have to jab and then let go, like tap at the screen. 50% that's about half speed at least it is same percentage it's not saying the pulse width measurement F0 fan 0 26 25 20% now oh well you certainly should you might get some stubborn on here because it has started 9% because it has actually started, uh, it might keep going to quite low speed. 8%, I can definitely see slowing down. 7, 5, and it's stopped. Let's turn it up. 6, 8, it take a bit to get to go. 
12. I've just on 12 it's starting to move. 15. And on 17 it started up. Right, so that's just selecting the minus or the plus. Let's put back on full. Let's turn it off. Back so that's working. I've got like FR which nobody understands that I know. It's no, it's not flow rate. It's sort of the overall speed. Let's go to menu, movement. I'm not going to do home because I'm sure only, I've just wired up the BL touch now and I don't know how, how reliable that is. So let's do this. Let's do Z and um, Y towards us. Just now. And again, we can ask the distance. Oh, that's going away. That's the other way it is moving. Let's change the distance. 10. It is working but it might be going the opposite way there. I can change that in Marlin. Let's do Z down when I can find it. Z down. Let's do X. X right, won't do it until it's uh, finished going down. So going down. Should be finishing just now, I think. I just jabbed at it a few times. And once it's finished going down, it, it should move right a bit 10 millimeters there we go that was more than 10 let's go left oh, that's 10 i might have jabbed it more than once yes that's probably about 10 going there so that's all working uh leveling i have what happens if i do leveling and got some values up here 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 oh, so that, that that's doing the corners I think that's manual back I presume that's manual left that we've got custom initiate SD card release SD card various options there and we can move down to more very responsive touch screen, very responsive. Let's go back. Let's go on custom again. Oh yeah. We've got G code so we can enter G code commands directly, presumably. G one. Uh, where's X? X let's do fifty oops no let's no 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 Del. it's hard to hold the camera and do this fifty five so X fifty five let's do send and it's moved to the right and it's come up with like a menu of what doing Well, I'll display what done. It said touch anywhere on the screen to get rid of that. So that seems to be working. That's G code, touch anywhere to exit. Or I'm touching on the letters. Touch anywhere, put, put the letters. In that case, information. And that's just displaying the position of the well, the thought that that isn't the actual position because I haven't done the, the homing yet. Heat and fan. We've got various settings there. Heat. Bed. Let me feel the bed. Yes, the bed is pretty warm. I'm not going to touch a nozzle or burn myself. 
I know it works. I know the extruder works because I have done this. So uh, we've got extrude. Got emergency stop notice. Sorry about reflections here. It's hard to see in this camera. We've got um, more movement. Move. Wonder if can Z. So we've got Z minus, Z positive over here. And we can change how far it's going to go. Point 0.1, 1 and 10. Yeah, point 0.1, 1 and 10. Yeah, that's moving up. But you get the basic idea there. I don't think there's anything I can show you. This is just an initial impression that's very responsive touch screen. Just have to touch it lightly. And it makes a clicking noise. Move. Let's move it away from the right. So I want to move right. Let's do 10. Yep. That noise is this um, tube moving against this Z carriage. I can't see the noise level, this does have the quiet step is in. So that's a quick look, a very brief look at... I uh, don't think there's much else I can show you. Let's go back. Let's go back, go into custom, release SD card, enable leveling routine, save to EPROM, restore for me EPROM, EPROM defaults, so there's nothing on there. So there's no BL touch sensor in this, there is in the LCD12864, should be. So I'm going to have to flash the firmware. Just to get going, let's go and settings our uh, screen. So we can change the, the screen. T S C adjust. Oh, that's probably touch sensitive, so you can change that. English sound on and off. I could be a clicking. That's not too bad. Well, I haven't found it. And black and yellow. So presumably we can change the font colors here. That seems okay to me. Rotate the screen if it's upside down. If you've got this knob on the other side. Back. Features. High terminal acknowledgement. Invert XY. Ah, so we can invert XY under here. Auto power. Move at high speed, normal, filament sensor off. Well, I want the filament sensor on, but that will be under firmware anyway. Encode after print. Persistent state info. Can go down more. Yes, can go down more. File viewer list mode. So, presumably you have a choice of what's the choice. Uh, just to turn it on and off, I think. LCD brightness, well it's bright enough for me. LCD brightness dim. Idle timer off. So you can ask the, presumably the display to go off after a certain time. Marlin mode than full screen. Yes, I'm going to select that. Well, I think that will change anyway when I flash the... And settings reset info there's some information sorry about the fingerprints on here one problem with touch screens is you're always going to get fingerprints on 
or even with those fingerprints on it, seems very, very responsive. Touch anywhere to exit. You are at speed, which is recommended to be uh, 115, whatever it is. Ah, see, so it's doing it down here. It's not changing it over here, which is a bit of a thing because your finger might be going over like this. But see, it's changing that. It's the fastest. hard to not get reflections in here but every time I'm pressing it it's changing the UART speed I'll leave it on that that seems to be setting and we've got disconnect green machine let's do the machine uh, so we've got custom LCD color the code shut down and parameters let's do the parameters steps per millimeter so we can adjust all those on the screen bump sensitivity that's if you've got sensorless homing on which i don't particularly want i don't see any point in it to say that using end stop switches is more accurate anyway that's what i've had decode again we've got decode let's hold on the screen to get off it touch more menu so that's a bit of a look round very nice very responsive touch screen just having to touch it lightly to get and having the sound on does give a bit of a, a feedback i'll just press that again and listen it's a very small click going up right that's enough of that i think i'm going to reflash the firmware and we'll see if stuff improves